Hey guys, today I'm going to tell you the five things I learned while making the Aaron Boy. So, number one. Number one is you want to plan your music ahead of time. Uh, I found that while I was getting towards the end when I needed to upload the video, um, I realized that there is music that needed to be in certain places and it just kind of had me in a panic. Um, so it would have been nice to really have it define what exactly I needed as far as the music goes. Um, I mean, for the most part, I had it pretty defined, but uh, you still got to think about those parts where there's really not a whole lot of action going on, and it's just kind of awkward if you just sit there without anything in the background. So, uh, number two. You want to have a sanctuary. Now, what I mean by sanctuary is you want to have a place where the actors and everybody on set can go and rest in between shots. Um, we were shooting in negative... Yeah, Damn it, what the fuck? We're shooting in negative degree weather and it would have been nice if we had just a little uh, place to wait in between shots so then I could actually process things and the actors weren't feeling numb and uh, overall I think that could have gone a little bit better so always plan a uh, sanctuary. So, number three. You don't want to overthink shots. Uh, sometimes when you get a shot, uh, you only need one take. Um, the man, the lead, uh, Skyler, he does such a great job and he uh, he's a really talented guy and I found that for a lot of them, I only needed one shot. Um, so don't overthink it. Don't think like, oh, I got this one shot, but I gotta do all these other things in order to make it look good. Sometimes you just don't really need to overthink it. So I know I've said overthink it about 20 times now. But anyway, number four. Number four kind of contradicts the last one. Uh, you do want to do some overshooting. I found that while I was trying to do the montages, um, there's a lot of footage that I really needed, uh, but I had to either put it in reverse or do some editing. Uh, so you always want to make sure you have enough footage. Uh, that's always a problem when you can't get back on set, um, yet you need more footage. So, uh, And then number five. You want to test copyright. Uh, this one was one where I actually used music that wasn't mine. I didn't necessarily make it. Um, I used, you know, common Christmas songs. Uh, and you really want to test the copyright before you put it out there because if you really want to make longer films and stuff, they can really bite you in the butt when you, if you don't check ahead of time and it ends up getting muted or blocked or, uh, they give you a warning or anything like that. Um, so it's always good to just double check the music. I We were working on this one uh, short film back on, in the LT short stage um, where we used a guitar riff that we thought was gonna be uh, you know, royalty free, anybody can download it, and uh, somebody came after us with a copyright strike for it. So um, we almost had to mute the video. Uh, same sort of thing happened. We used something out of GarageBand and somebody somebody took credit for it even though technically it's available to everybody. Uh, you just always want to check um, just to make sure that it's not copywritten. And how you want to go about it is you want to upload the video, do it in private, and then just see. It'll instantly tell you on YouTube what the copyright strikes are. So you always want to do that before you upload. So. Uh, anyway, that would conclude my five things I learned on Aaron Boy. I hope you enjoyed the film, and uh, see you next time. Go. <laughs> Action. Uh, I should have looked at the camera. Fuck. All right, still one more time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs>